About 10 years ago, I was asked to sell Stations of the Cross, and the Stations of the Cross uh, have been a very big journey. Um, they, I have not been able to authenticate when they were done. They are unsigned. I have uh, put them up on Artnet in New York for three, I think, three and a half years. Uh, I paid for a full pa page ad in the um, main digest, main antique digest. I paid for a full page color ad in the magazine antiques about a year and a half ago, August issue, I think of 08. I have written two letters to the Vatican, sent uh, emails to the Monte Cassino Monastery. The history of the paintings is that they were owned by a Lieutenant Colonel Sandy R. Lerner who did work for the Smithsonian um, Museum. He also did work in New York for the Pratt Art Institute. He was a noted um, art restorer. He had a collection of more than 2,000 pieces of art when he died in the mid-80s. Um, I have spoken with his son. I have his will. I have personal items of Colonel Learners of the art clubs that he was a member of in New York and personal photographs of him with admirals in the Navy and uh, other influential people. Um, the doctor, the physician that owned, bought them from Colonel Lerner is also somebody of a uh, very great reputation. And I have his um, letters uh, saying that these paintings are mine, that they're all fully paid for. I own all 14 of the Stations of the Cross. Uh, John Bob III, who has a master's degree from the Sorbonne in France, has examined each painting. He believes they're mid-1700s. Someone in England, uh, the paintings are all 29 and a half by 39 and a half, believes, and they have not examined the original paintings. They have only seen photographs of the paintings and restoration had been done to the photographs. And they believed that the paintings are 18th century or a little bit later. Uh, when you look at the paintings, uh, there is a great, great amount of age to them. I have talked to the priest uh, in charge of the Stations of the Cross at Notre Dame University, and I've gotten photographs of their Stations of the Cross. They were done in the either 1893 or the early 1900s. I know of no other complete set oil on canvas of Stations of the Cross that are as early as the ones that I own. I have had them appraised by John Bob for 300,000 in the present condition. The man in England uh, tried to tell me that they were worth a very, very small amount. Um, I've sold paintings, OSU football paintings, done by an Ohio artist, Emerson Burkhart, done in 1955 and 56 for 50,000 each. A 20 by 24 all on canvas of some people playing football. I cannot conceive that Stations of the Cross done in either the mid 1700s or the mid 1800s that to me are as beautiful as any painting I have ever seen. Uh, whether they are old master or whether they were done a little bit later than that, uh, to me they're still uh, just extremely beautiful paintings. And uh, Mary, as she's shown in the paintings, is very, very beautiful. I'd be just extremely grateful if anyone any art, art history professor, um, any art expert, um, anyone knowledgeable about Stations of the Cross can provide any um, information about the paintings.